the Make Code Arcade live stream. I'm Shannon. I'm at Shakao on the Make Code forums. I'm Joey at J Wonderl on the Make Code forums. I'm Richard at Richard on the Make Code forums. And I'm Vivian at Lift Triple on the Make Code forums. Oh, cool. So today I was just going to wrap up, I guess, the browser game. Um, I think we got one type of page down last time, and I was going to maybe add, um, I don't know, a couple more pages. Um, and some like ad stuff. Um, so we made this uh, in stream 214, maybe. Um, and what it is is it's a, it's a web browser simulator inspired by the various Windows simulators that showed up on our forums. So you have a cursor, um, a fake cursor inside the game. If you click on the URL bar, you can type in um, an address, and it has to end in uh, .com, .org, or .net. And you hit OK, um, and it loads, you know, a web page that is customized to this URL, which right now is um, the, the store page for a t-shirt that has your URL on it. Um, and there's a banner ad at the side, and none of these other pieces of the page do anything. Um, so, OK. So the first thing I'm going to add is, um, Oh yeah, and we have, so this banner ad is different every time you run it. Um, so we have, you know, that, uh, courtesy of me. This one, courtesy of Dobix LP, I think, on the forums, um, which is all of the Make Code team's RPG sprites um, in an ad. Cake mode, courtesy of Richard. <laughs> um, and dog from Hassan. Um, so, you know, we advertise a wide variety of things um, targeted to our users. And, do you want us to do oh, more of these? Are we, are we yeah. going to do horizontal banner ads at some point? Should we, we do are those? Do horizontal banner ads, yes. Um, the other thing we have is if you type in an invalid URL so it doesn't end correctly, you get, um, sorry, my real cursor is confusing me. Um, <laughs> you get a, an error message, and I think. Yeah, so Davix also provided um, this error try again message. So I added it to this array and we'll randomly pick an error message um, for you. Oh, and we have a close button up here in case you want to get out of the web browser, um, which shakes the screen to tell you that you can't. <laughs> um, cool. What size should we do for the, the horizontal banners, Shannon? Oh, um, okay, yeah, let's do a page with a horizontal banner ad. And then um, I'll, I'll uh, let's see, what kind of page? I'll just do like a blog page. Um, and it'll have like a banner ad at the, at the bottom of it, maybe. Um, what kind of pages have horizontal banner ads? Feel free to suggest. I mean, a lot of them have that at the top. Like, yeah, so it's but like I the want... first thing you see. Mm -hmm. OK. Yeah, let me, so I have this type that is um, HTML. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the layout for a, uh, uh, like a blog page. Um, let's see, so I think that is, it's going to have um, some text. Loading text. OK. And um, then up here, I'm going to put like customized words. Uh, for now, let's just do this. And then at the bottom, wait, you should put a scroll bar, and you should put a little comment balloon at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Love it. <laughs> and then maybe like a number of likes. I don't know. <laughs> Where, where do people display the likes? I feel like it's at the bottom and it's like the star. You, you have like, you know, like an icon and then a number next to it. Okay. Oh, like a heart and then like hmm. a number? Yeah. Like a heart or like, I think medium does like cl claps or something. <laughs> cool. Okay. So um, this is going to be the scroll bar. Um, the other thing that people may have noticed is that I'm choosing not to use the uh, um, line or rectangle tools. Um, and this is a deliberate choice for, um, you know, not, not 
very well-founded reasons. It's, a, it's right. an aesthetic Pretty choice. Popular. And, you know, it's kind of the aesthetic. There's a comment bubble. Mm. Cool. And here's a heart. Actually, I think it would be like... Why aren't okay. all websites made like this? This is just way better than <laughs> messing with CSS. Yeah, why bother coding things? Um, <laughs> but it's easier to center there, too. Is there a, a makeout redesign in the works? <laughs> um, OK, so here's our thing with the comment. Um, we'll change that middle section. I would like it to be more customized. Um, and mm, OK. So I'm going to move everything down to make room for um, a banner ad at the top, I think. Uh, click up here. And then I'm going to make a, where do we have that? Here we go. Banner ad. Um, so I'm setting all of these to kind HTML uh, because we delete the HTML between each um, page load. So everything that is of type HTML um, is cleared out. OK, how does this look? Doesn't look as good as cats, I can tell you that. <laughs> I think, okay, let's try 85 and 20. Hey, chat, what's the best kind of cat? Let us know. Cat. Old cat. Did you say? Blue cat. I said an old cat. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, I think this is, yeah. Can you guys work at this? So the horizontal ones are 85 by 20. And the vertical ones are seven, 24 by 75. Um, so feel free to, um, you know, as your heart desires. Um, and we got a good, a good answer from Soren Lawrenson, which is Daryl Cat. <laughs> this is true. Um, Daryl is extremely good at cats. Uh, okay. How do I want to do this? I think I'm going to, this will be like the basic structure of the page, um, but I'm going to um, do some like custom text. So, so actually, I think. First thing I'm going to do is a suggestion from Dobbix, which is um, I'm going to change it so that when you click on a banner ad, you get like a little pop-up over your screen um, that you then have to close. Um, and the pop-ups will be like randomized, you know, whatever. Um, so to start with, I'm going to change the type of this ad from HTML to ad. Right. This one's also going to be an ad. Um, and then um, we have this on button clicked. So it's checking to see if the cursor is overlapping. Um, and I'm going to, in here, also check over every ad that's currently in our page. Oh, and the other thing I need to do is here. So load web page um, loads the new page. So I'm going to delete the ads um, in between. It will not clear the pop-ups. And then um, here, I'm going to check to see if the page has any ads. So um, if oops, the length of the um, array of sprites of kind add is greater than zero. So there are ads present on this page. Uh, then I'm going to check and find which one I'm overlapping. So if. Um, and then this same cursor overlaps with value. So I'm just looping over each ad. And there shouldn't be more than like one or two ads per page. So this should hopefully be like, you know, a reasonable amount of checking. Um, 
And if you are overlapping, then I'm going to call a function, which is going to say make pop up. Um, and for now, the pop up is not going to be related to the ad you clicked. <laughs> um, all right. And so to make a pop up, I'm going to just make a sprite. Um, so the pop up is going to consist of like, body and it's going to have an X button and it'll be those two parts. Clicking on the body will do nothing. Clicking on the X button will dismiss the entire pop-up. Um, so add a new kind pop-up. A new variable dialogue. All right. What do pop-ups say on them? Who has? Congratulations. You're one of <laughs> Wait, sorry. Wait, I, uh, okay. I got your winner and I mean, they're anything? all the same. Any variant of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so big. Half of our screen is 40. Can there be a small chance that the pop up gets a velocity and the bounce on walls <laughs> so it's very aggressive <laughs> and the virus automatically? I love this. Um... <laughs> I think if you click on it, sometimes you get a virus, and then like your cursor starts changing random colors or something. <laughs> um, there can be a secret cat cursor. Secret what? A cat cursor. Oh, a cat cursor. Yes. Um, okay. Okay. I'm gonna do the pop-ups, and then I'm gonna do finish out the blog page so that we can do the horizontal ads, and then I will do viruses. <laughs> um, so. So I'm just checking to see what color I made everything here. Borders of this page are actually black. All right. Right. Um, and then it's white. Cool. Can you guys hear the uh, very loud construction outside my window? Not at all. Nope. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, so this first one is going to say winner. I don't know how readable this is going to be, but um well. I like that it's in multiple colors, and it makes me really feel like I'm a winner. <laughs> That's the goal. Um, so then you click on it, right? Yeah, I would definitely click on this. It seems very <laughs> legit. They had so much budget for so many colors. <laughs> oh, yeah, PSA, do not click on a, on a <laughs> pop-up that says you're a winner. Yeah. <laughs> what if you actually are a winner? Um, could it be well, anything? It could even be a virus. You, you want a virus? Okay. Then this one is going to say, um, congratulations. Oh, that's so many words. Uh, letters. This one is going to say, um, this one's going to say, wow. Um, okay, quirky down here. <laughs> I saw a corgi this weekend, and its owner was lifting it up so it could look into the window of a restaurant, and they were both looking at what was going on. <laughs> wow. Good. That's exactly the thing this banner ad is trying to convey. <laughs> Very targeted ads. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'm going to pick a random value from... Random value. Sorry, I will also zoom back in. Um, um, Pop-ups. Let's try this. Oh, so we should right now, it should make it pop up in the middle. Beautiful. Wow. 
Uh, if you guys want to make pop-ups for me also, these are, they're 40 by 30, um, but they require the like border. So the little mm. thing at the top. Um, okay. And um, I will make an X button for the pop-up. Oh, I didn't capitalize the kind. Okay, I'll survive. Close button. Pop up, close. Okay, um, and this is just going to be a um, X button. That is, uh, how big is my other one? This one is six by six. Sure. Um, so like, I think this button may not always be like aligned with the, uh, edge of the thing, but that's okay because we've committed to this style where nothing is aligned. So, um, it's, you know, on purpose. Um, so I'm just going to put this button sort of near the top right corner of this pop-up. I'm going to set close button position to, uh, actually I'm going to do a different thing. I'm going to set the... Close button right to the pop up dialog. Right? And then I'm going to also set the tops to be the same. Um, and then I'm also going to make this, I'm just going to like. Put some transparent margin in there. Um, okay. Sweet. There's a close button. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is move the uh, pop up to a random position on the screen. So I'm going to set the dialog to math, make random, um, and it's going to be like of like in the middle zone of the screen. So uh, I'm going to do 30 to 90, um, 30 to 130, and here is going to be 30 to 90. Um, and then I'm going to add your hands favorite extension, which is Sprite Data. Woo! <laughs> uh, because when you click on the close button, you need to know which pop up to destroy. Um, so so then on the close button, I'm going to set close button pop up data to the dialog. All right, and then I'm going to pull out an overlaps. Um, and I know we've been doing all of our like click handling in the A button, but I think this one will be easier in an overlaps. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so when you're... Sorry, I'm very engrossed in the um, advertisement I'm making. Me oh, too. Cool. I'm very, very excited. <laughs> um, okay, so if you're overlapping with the close button and the A button is pressed, that means you clicked. Um, I'm just going to destroy both of them. It's fine. Um, so I will first I'm going to destroy the um, dialogue. So I'm going to get the close buttons. Sprite. And then I'm also going to destroy the close button itself. OK, so now we should be getting randomly placed pop-ups um, that you can close. Oh, yeah. OK, I did this. Did I do this wrong? I think I made the top margin too big. Yeah. How tall is this guy? This is 30, so I really only need um, 20. Yeah, perfect. Okay, 
this is what I want. And then, oops. Oh no, hated that. Mm. Okay, so what's happening is if it overlaps a different thing, it's hitting both um, click handlers. It's hitting the destroy and it's also hitting the address bar click handler. Mm. Um, which is because we're doing this in two different places here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So I could just make it so that you don't get to pop up over the address bar. Um, I don't know. Any, any thoughts, Joey? Or... You could make a we function. We could do it all in the... Oh, sorry. Joey. On a... uh, yeah. Uh, we could do it all in the on a button press. So we can define the order in which they can... Yeah. Slide, I guess. That probably makes sense. Just in case we do want things to be clickable in the page as well. Okay, so with all this other stuff, um, I'm going to move the address bar check to the bottom. And then the same way we're going over every add here, when you press the A button, I'm actually going to go over every pop up close. Um, and if you are overlapping that, I'm going to destroy. So now instead of other sprite, we're using value, um, which is, you know, new sprite. Um, else if, okay, cool. And then here with the check is to see if we have any pop-ups open. We're going to first check to see if we're closing the pop-ups. Um, and then, all right, let's see if we can get, oh, what did I do? Oh, shoot, I can't. Uh, I need to do separate if statements for each of these. Do we have the, can I break inside this or should I put it in a function? Can you break inside of what? The A button pressed. No, yeah, you're gonna have to do it in a function. <laughs> okay, but we do have break and return block. Hmm? Yes, awesome. Um, we have break. Right. Okay, so I'm moving this all out so that I can um, stop checking clicks early. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of these in a separate if statement. And if I do find something, uh, I'm going to stop checking, basically. Um, so if we do have pop-ups, then this, if we have ads, then do the ad check. Otherwise, if you're overlapping with the address bar, do the address bar check. And in each of these... Um, Wait, what's the size of banner ads again? Uh, which direction? Horizontal. Uh, 85 by 20. Yes, 85 by 20. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, and I don't really need it in this last one. Put there just in case we add anything. Okay, let's try again. Oh. Nope, didn't like that. Sure. Jump target cannot cross function boundary. Whoa, wait. Um, oh, you're doing a break oh. inside of an if. You can't do that. You want to do a return. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right. So instead of doing break, I'll just do a return here. Great. And then we return again at the very end. All right. Cool. 
And then I should be able to close this. Yes. And up here, so this, um, oh man, cool. Okay, so we add stay, and I can close them. Yeah. Um, the last thing I want is I want these to be above everything else, um, since they are pop ads. So I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna set their Z indexes to be very high. Um, Dialog Z depth to like 40. And the same for the close button. Okay. Um, oh, and then I'm going to do Joey's thing, which is, um, can I do Joey's thing? Yes, I'll just align all the close buttons after. <laughs> mm. If. Okay, we're going to start with a very high percent chance. I'll bring this down after we get this code working. Um, and the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the velocity on the dialog. And I also need to set what's on the wall. Cool. Um, to a random value between negative 40 and 40. Okay, so if we take a look at this, cool. <laughs> um, and then the other thing I need to do is I need to, in the on game update, do um, an alignment. So we're already doing some alignment stuff in this on game update. So I'm just going to add to it. So for each, um, and we're just going to go through every X button and move that X button to be the right position on its. Uh, um, parent dialog. Which chat are we using to post these things? Oh, yeah, good question. Um, I think all, people have only been posting in Teams, right? I don't see any. Okay, see yeah. Any? No, I, I, I closed Teams, so I hadn't seen it. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had only posted one in Teams. Into the array. Sprites of kind pop up close and where did I set it? Oh, I just did like a top right alignment. Great. So I'm going to grab the um, dialogue that's attached to it. So the value here is going to be the close button and the um, data is going to be the pop-up. I'm going to align the close buttons, right and top. All right. Did mine get sent? My computer's having connection issues today. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I do not see it either. Um, OK, cool. So bouncing. And then if I, oh, no, I do want the cursor to be on top of them also. Right, let me. There we go. Got that guy. Um, I need to make the cursor the index bigger. How would I make it? Twenty. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna send it in the other chat. Sorry. Oh, yeah. No worries. Um. Okay. So. Let's let me put some images in. Uh, we have basic pop-up functionality. Um. And then. The next thing we'll do is design this um, horizontal page. So um, let me grab Vivian's. Oh, it's a pop-up ad. It's a pop-up ad. Good. <laughs> Beautiful. Yum. Everybody loves free yeah. food. Getting the meatballs? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then Richard, yours is a horizontal one? Yes. Uh, it might be... Oh, Discord just took away the ticks, but the rest of it is fine, I think. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, very quickly pop this into the text editor and format it. All right. 
Um, and we don't have an array of banner ads at the moment, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Tony Albatross is, is branching out, trying to expand his brand. <laughs> Making a splash. Oh, oh, this ad is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, and then I'm gonna change the percentage chance of it being a moving ad to like ten, so it's like I don't know, it's like a, a fun surprise. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna fill out the rest of this. So okay, so the thing I want is I want to have um, I want to calculate a couple properties based on this URL. I want like um, maybe like two numbers to start. With. So maybe I'll use the length of the URL mod a number, and then maybe I'll go through and count the vowels in it um, or something. Um, I just want like two values that will be the same. So anytime you load this URL, you're going to get the same numbers. So the page will look the same, um, but I'm going to use them to generate some like random stuff about the page. Um, like cryptography, you know, this is a super secure web browser. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to make a new variable that's um, length. Okay. Uh, and it's going to be the length of the URL. Um, and then I'm going to make another variable um, that is URL. Vowels. vowels too. So we're starting with zero vowels, and then I'm just going to iterate over each um, character in this. Right? Yeah. Car from. So for. Index from zero to URL length, conveniently, minus one, I guess. Uh, I'm going to check if, um, I'll make another function. This is um, function heavy stream. Shannon, you have like less than a handful of functions. It's, usually I use like one or zero. Um, wow, I didn't realize that. <laughs> but functions are beautiful. They clean everything up. And you know, it's free money. <laughs> um, yeah, my, so my strategy for avoiding quarters has been to not use functions, but we're okay so far. <laughs> okay. So if uh, I have this vowels array, and I'm just going to see if um, edit function will be text letter. Um, so if the index of um, Hmm. Oh, sorry, I need to raise. Find index of. Um, so this will return a negative one if it's not in the um, vowel. Otherwise, it will return, you know, the index. So. vowels, index of letter, is greater than or equal to zero. So that means it is a vowel, um, and in this case, we're going to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. Logic, return true, return false. Cool. So for each of these, um, if it is a vowel, So I'm getting the character at the index. I'm going over each letter inside the URL. 
And if it is a vowel, I'm going to increase the URL vowels by one. Change URL vowels. Cool. Okay. Mm. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is um, for this, Uh, equals. I'm going to say if your length is an odd number, um, you're going to get the uh, shirt page. Otherwise, you're going to get the um, blog page. So remainder of um, URL length divided by two, um, or even number, I guess. Okay, so let's see. So let's make code.com, and if I change this to be one, there's our blog page. Awesome. So, okay. So then in this blog page, um, I'm going to create some text rights. Um, I think, let's see. I think blog titles are like, uh, it's like a let me comment um come up with like a template for these i'm thinking it'll be like welcome to uh name world <laughs> maybe world can also be random i like it cool. okay so um let's make some lists of things um, thank you, Joey, for Box your random levels. block. This would be um, a lot harder yeah. if... Car stereos. <laughs> um, uh, names. You say pineapples? Yeah, car stereos. Um, oh, okay. I was thinking, like... Um, but... Let's, let's oh, name. No, 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 I thought no, you no. said this. I thought you said list some things. That's what I was doing. <laughs> Either or. And then the other one is going to be um, me name variable world synonyms. <laughs> okay, and this is going to be world emporium zone. Um, uh, zone. zone. Um, page. Uh, domain. Domain. Um, purview. Okay. Um, Corner. Ready. <laughs> okay. More, more, more world names. Um. Or... Tabitha. Oh no. I mean... oh, no. Um, okay. Corner. Corner is a good one too. Oh, Corner is a good one. I don't think we're gonna have. This is more than there are gonna be vowels. Um. Oh. So maybe we'll also use length for this, and then we'll use vowels for this one. Agatha. And... Mm, soup. Okay. Um, cool. And then in our generate page function, I'm going to now make some text rights. So we have this, um, and I'm going to new variable welcome text. All right. So this is going to be um, welcome to as um, oh man, it would be cool to randomize these colors also. But to start with, I am not going to um, just in the interest of getting stuff out there. Um, okay. okay, and I want this. Hmm? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Next time there's space, I'll say something. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so 38 is going to be way too high. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to make the X like 50 in the top. Fifty-four. 
Um, okay, so welcome to, and then we're gonna have um, new variable name text. Okay, and this is going to be um, pick random. Oh no, it's gonna be get value act. So we have our list of names. What is our list of names called? It's just called name singular. Um, and uh, I'm gonna get the value at. So the thing I'm using for randomness here is gonna be the number of vowels. Um, the number of vowels is probably not gonna be too, too high, uh, but I'm, I'm hopeful, I think we only have like four things. So, you know, hopefully it'll be like uh, an okay distribution. Some people will get the things at the end of this array. Um, so what I want is I want the number of vowels. So that's um, URL vowels divided by the length of our um, our names array. So length of array name. Um, so that means we'll just loop through. So as we add more names, um, you know this number will also like expand to fit. Um, so yeah. Welcome to Sue. Um, <laughs> um, I want this to be bigger. What's the, the default is 12? Eight? Maybe 12? I don't oh, know. This is, uh, and maybe it is eight. So if I set it to 12, it would be. Yeah. Um, actually, oh, this go. is going to be low. Sorry, Jay? That's perfect. 12 is huge. <laughs> um, okay, and maybe I'll make... Welcome to... Is this... Or five? It's welcome to... Okay, and then the other thing um, is I'm going to make this a different color. Um, exciting color. And then uh, I'm going to do the other one, which is um, new variable world text. Okay. So this is going to be world synonyms, remainder of URL length, because we have more synonyms and the length is overall going to be longer than the number of vowels. Um, the world synonyms. And uh, let's go back to blue. But we'll also make this big. And I'm going to need to change the position of it. So, sorry. Soup Emporium. <laughs> Not bad. Um, Do you have a 10 height? Oh, is this doubled five font? Maybe. <laughs> OK, yeah, it must be. Gosh, guys, why is E just like so prevalent and also the hardest letter to do in pixel art? <laughs> I think we okay. should make a new language with no E's. I thought I used to think S was the worst, but you can kind of fake it. With E's, there is no choice. It just looks bad. Right. Well, you need the space in the middle, right? Is the problem. Yeah. Yeah. worry about is I'm pretty sure soup is one of our shortest ones so like pineapples is going to go right off um, but maybe that's part of the charm um, okay. uh, we can always add a scroll wheel on the bottom too the that's true we could just add a scroll bar down there like, I think this is before we have responsive design so everything just scrolls in every direction um Soup Emporium. And then the other thing I'm going to do is just add some like fake looking blog text, which should hopefully be, you know. Wow, oh, that is. Fran
frantic very clicking. Big, big. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and this is going to be the same for every page, just because, um, I don't know, I don't have enough random seeds, and uh, I want to, like, make sure everything works. So, theoretically, you know, ev everything could be randomized. Um, colors, the image down here, all of that. All right, right. got another one coming in. Shannon, this oh, awesome. time we'll try and fix the <laughs> formatting. Yeah. It's NBD if, um, if Discord is annoying about it. Ah. Got it. It's another horizontal one. OK, cool. Perfect, because we do not have very many horizontal ones. The what great the thing one? about this text is, hmm? No, no, Shannon, you say. You say. Oh, I think the great thing about text is I don't have to like write more of it. I can just sort of shift the pixels around to fill up the space. Um, yeah, I'm gonna maybe delete the top row of this so that we have more margin between us and the blog. Cool. Yes, this feels good. Um, OK, so this is a page. It's got some stuff on it. Um, I'm going to try out some different URLs. Oh, right. The other thing I need to do is I need to actually set the kinds of all of these text sprites to be HTML um, so that they're cleared when I go between. Um, so welcome text, aim text. Um, and world text. Cool. All right. Uh, let's try some places. Oh, shoot. I have been checking the overlaps with the cursor, and I should have been checking it with the point. point yeah okay so we made a um one pixel by one pixel uh dot and put it at the top of the cursor and then i proceeded to not use it but um the benefit of using this point is that you only click on one thing even if the bigger cursor is overlapping several things so in that case it was overlapping the pop-up ad and the address bar um but if i switch all of these to be click point click point click point click point I should now be able to click on the address bar. Yeah, perfect. Um, oh, that was a number. Oh, what am I doing wrong? Just not good at counting. Three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, so this is car stereo corner. Um, how long are each of these? Soup, pineapples, car stereo. Jerry. Um, let me see if I can just. So I might move soup like over some, um, and it might be overlapping a little bit, but I think that will be okay. So I'm going to set the name text left to like. Okay. Um, 
Cool. Yes. Welcome to Jerry Corner. Wonderful. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and I have another ad, right? Yep. Yes. Well, actually, the first thing I'm going to do is right now we just have one horizontal ad. Um, so I'm setting it here. I'm going to instead make a um, array. So I'm going to pull out this array, new variable, horizontal add, uh, and then I'm going to move my image down here. you guys <laughs> couldn't put it on the internet if it's not true guys <laughs> um cool and then the last thing i need to do is pull the random value from so right now it's only uh, it wasn't set to anything so i'm going to go to horizontal add and cool there we go yeah sometimes it's tony sometimes it's um you know the Ice cream trigger. Um, all right. Ah, missed. And I think that's just about everything. Um, maybe in this last. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have one more coming in real quick. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Um, the and the other thing of my advertisements. <laughs> Uh, I'm also going to take the URL length, um, QR, URL, and uh, how many colors do we have? Nine, maybe nine. I'm going to actually maybe, yeah. No, I made it blue. Mm. And then the remainder of, okay, so I'm going to do some very quick math, which is going to be, I want, um, I want this text to be between, uh, two and 15. No, I'm actually going to do 10, 11, 12, I think, um, so I want the like base text to be like a little varying, but like generally boring. Um, okay. So I'm gonna start with ten, um, and I'm gonna go uh, plus up to two, right? So it's gonna be divided by three. Um, and this I think could be the vowels, URL vowels. Cool. Let me see. Sorry, what was the other one you said, Julie? Ten and so, uh, so we want uh, we don't want zero or one because that's transparency and uh, white. Mm -hmm. So just add two, and then we can subtract. I don't know, right. or we can do the mod by thirteen, I guess. Fifteen? Yeah. Okay. So two to fifteen is the range we want for this um, this like fancy text, um, which will be red to here, and. Or brown, I guess. Uh, yeah, brown. Okay. I'm assuming we don't want the black. Yeah. Yeah, no. no. Fancy text yeah. on the internet is never. <laughs> Just. Okay, awesome. Sure. Um, and I, I do want our default page to actually be the t shirt page. So, makecode.com will be on t shirts because it says makecode on t shirt. Oh, okay, more ads. Um. This is a horizontal one. Thank you, Vivian. I'm making more ads, Janet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, I gotta say, this is the most fun prompt we've had in a long time of just making banner ads. Oh wait, I made it the wrong size! Oh no, okay, sorry. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna fix it. Oh, it's so beautiful though. <laughs> okay, I'll leave this one here. <laughs> you guys are so good at banner ads, is the thing. <laughs> I have a career in marketing. <laughs> right, um, and I'm just gonna try out some more like, like things. Um. Um, so if you go to joy.net, you get a t-shirt that says Joey on it. Joey gets a t-shirt. <laughs> well, I think maybe, so the other thing we could do is we could make this space longer. Um, might be good just to like get more variety in the, the things we're um, loading. Right, so I don't really know what this is an ad for. I think my, my idea is that this is like the first frame in like a video ad. Mm. Ooh, okay. <laughs> what, is this another horizontal one? Yes. Okay. I guess if we're going for old school internet, the thing we are missing is like 30 second load times for each. <laughs> What's that even is? I like this. This is great. I like this, this is, a lot. This is You've done it. <laughs> It almost makes me want a giraffe uh, toothbrush. I don't know, it's got the like toothbrush shape to me, which is perfect. Guys, I feel like this doesn't get enough press attention, but don't lick a telephone pole when it is cold outside. Probably don't lick it when it's warm outside either. I'm just gonna put that out there. Sure, <laughs> yeah. A, a kid at my school did it one time, and a teacher had to go get a bucket of warm water, and we all were, like, watching as she poured the warm water <laughs> over his head to de-stick him from the telephone pole. Um, okay, and also, I just want to bring up to Vivian's ad, which is for the sun. <laughs> <laughs> plus A+. Plus. A+. Plus. I think it's a bullet point A+. Plus, oh, yeah, it's like A+. a plus. Oh, okay. Good. I had to cut off warm because we didn't have the space. <laughs> Everybody knows the sun is warm. Um. Okay. Sorry. Where am I doing this? Ask for text. What's oh, in the click handler, isn't it? Yes. All right. Cool. So this ask for string has a handy plus button, which Joey pointed out off stream. Um. And right now it's at twelve, but I'm just gonna make it double that. Rose. Um. Cool. And then, oh, and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make our, um, so right now it's, it, uh, is case sensitive, which it will still be. So if you mix upper and lower case, um, it still won't find the domain, um, or the, the thing that goes after the domain. Um, that's illegal though. <laughs> um, I can now do this, I think. Yeah. Pineapple world. Um, <laughs> cool. All right. So can this be another one that we come back to? Yeah, I, I would. I would do this one for like several more streams, and just do <laughs> oh. dumb advertisements and things. This one's so much fun. I just want to make that scroll bar work. I want that to like oh. do something. That would be so good if you could just scroll. Yeah, I was thinking. I feel like you could because if you use the, I mean, you just use the on game update and the sprite follow. On an axis? Yeah, and it, we could make it like, we could do some z-axis stuff to make it so everything shows up behind it and not on the, we can make it work. If I'm being honest, I just want to draw more banner ads. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm on board with this. Also, you guys didn't make any new vertical ones. Um, but, but not to say that the horizontal ones aren't incredible. This one is from Vivian. No, Vivian! Boo! <laughs> I have yes. to honor the process, so this one also goes in the rotation. It's true, it's no. on the internet! <laughs> <laughs> but I want everyone to know that I didn't stand behind that particular ad. I do, though. Joey, I don't want to align horses with you anymore, though. So. <laughs> 
page. All right. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, we are out of time. I am Shannon. I'm at Shakao on the Make Code forums. I'm Joe at Jay Wonder on the Make Code forums. Um, I'm Richard at Richard on the Make Code forum and advertising executive on the side. <laughs> And I'm Vivian at Lift Trip on the Make Code Forums and president of the We Hate Mint Ice Cream Club. Boo. Oh yeah, I would like to see I would like Boo. to see some proof of that, some documentation. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's president, it's my business card. You can't see it. Oh. <laughs>